Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. Listen, it's Saturday, and I normally do not go thrifting on a Saturday, and it is very busy, but oh, I was working so hard today around the house organizing and everything. I just really needed to go out and have some fun. So this might be a little choppy because I do need to be respectful of other shoppers. And it's got rattles in it. That was kind of cool. What on earth? I guess it's just a stand. You could open it. It might be a Heidi stash. Okay, I don't know. Made in Taiwan. $4.99. <laughs> I see these all over my mall though, so I would have to, you know, be the cheapest because I'm not going to be the only one. Those are still here. Gosh, that's been over a week. You're cute. What are you? You're only a dollar ninety-nine. You are a doll. Oh, you're a hostess original. You are too cute. I'll take you. That's upside down, but it's someone playing golf. That's just um, watercolor on the inside, flashed, kind of new. Ha ha. $5.99. That would probably sell out of the booth just fine, but you know, not for too much more. And I'm in organizing mode. I really don't need to be here, but I'm just bound and determined to have a little bit of fun. And this is very much fun for me. Oh, a wooden mortar and pestle. That's kind of cool because what's the... It's like a hand. Darn, I wish it wasn't cracked. Because that's cool. <laughs> See, tortilla holder for $5.99. Some kind of plastic toy type situation. It's a part of the California Pottery Group. It's interesting, but you know, not that much. Studio Pottery. You're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> Gosh, the other one had a bunch of bears, too. I guess they split them up. Let's see if there's anything tucked in here. Someone painted a horse. Gina did. Let's see who she worked for. Oregon Myrtlewood. Veneer. Not bad. I'm gonna put it down here where people can see it better. Gosh, the other thrift, the other good girl had one of these too. We must get stuff and take it to a central distribution, which we do have one here in Colorado. Oh gosh, great job on the painted rock. People hide those. I think we've talked about that before. You can go on Facebook and Instagram and follow the hashtag for the zip not zip code, telephone area code, because like here it's 719 rocks. That's a tourist piece, you guys. So they don't go for a whole, mu a whole lot. Wait a minute, I missed something crazy. But, honorable mention for fun stuff at the thrift store. <laughs> Definite honorable mention, $6.99. <laughs> you go with your bad self. Let's look at this one. It's got a chip, but I still want to look at it. Cause is this studio pottery? I think it is, but wow, look at that. This is not a beginner. It feels like a mold piece, and there's no markings on it. Definitely not a beginner. Wish that wasn't chipped. What was it again? $3.99? Is that a chip or what is that? Is that wax? No, darn it, it's a chip. Hmm. Hey now, you go over with the motorcycle dude. <laughs> that's a commercial piece, but is that a longer burger? Oh, it's a Fiesta. Well, that's a different Fiesta. Capital F though. Okay, I'm. I'm going to get this for the booth. That's a serving piece. That's different. That's some lucite coolness. 
No, actually, those are glass. Huh. Let me check for marks. It might be part of something, or this might be some kind of avant-garde little thing. Oh, uh, these are new. I've sold a couple of them out of my booth, though. Normally, you guys, they come with a matching spoon that'll have some metal work on it, on the end of it, too. I gotta settle down with my collections. I think I was talking about that last time. I have got to settle down. I'm going to downsize, you guys. A little tonella piece for only three ninety nine. That's not bad. That's not bad. Japan, those are pretty. Now, see something like this, I might be tempted because look, we have the sugar. No, we have the creamer. Do we sugar? And if there were two matching teacups with the saucers, I would be tempted to do that and put something pretty. I've sold the modern stuff. Um, there's someone whose name is getting popular. She's new. Grace, Grace's Teaware, yeah. I think you get it at Marshall's, one of the places you can get it. You know, and like Macy's and Dillard's and then Marshall's and Home Goods, whatever. They end up with it because they're actually a secondary store as well. They're just brick and mortar, really woolly by day spring. <laughs> See, stuff like this sometimes goes viral. Anyways, what I was saying is they really are, they get stuff from the department stores usually the next season. They might, they might order, hello kitty, they might order some new stuff too, but I think typically, you know, to get a good deal that they can pass on. Okay, hey, I got to turn this off for a minute. Okay, there were some young girls shopping. What was I saying? Oh, so to keep the cost down, you know, because they're kind of like a discount department store, if you will. Oh, I love this burnished. There's a way they do this with some kind of tool that, like, electrifies the wood. I've got a vase. What's this other one? I'll finish a thought here in a minute, you guys. You know, I just chit-chat. It's just stream of consciousness with me as we shop because the music's so loud. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, let me make a decision here because, man, that would look so cool with the vase. This is not vintage. You guys probably know by now. You, all of us, you've seen it in all of our videos. This is Party Light. Um, not Mardi Gras. Calypso. Calypso. All kinds of things with that pattern. But that's Party Light. Which has a fan base, yes. Just like Yankee Candle. But there's plenty of it. There's the glassy baby dupes. Where they just use decals. Hello. Well, while I'm being slightly crunchy, let me just add this to the mix. Oh, Goodwill. Oh, oh, that's probably illegal. I don't know. Definitely not cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay. Hey, look, there's another honorable mention owl. It was probably a lot cooler with the carved wood. Someone took some spray paint to it, though. <laughs> this was on on my way through that aisle, the picture aisle. Look at this foil print. That's adorable. Look at it close. Little woodland creatures. The mouse talking to some kind of little tiny critter in that flower. That's just so cute. It's kind of interesting. It's glass. Now it's all one piece. It's real heavy. Looks like it was poured into a mold. It's $4.99. And it's, oh gosh, that thing's heavy. But somebody put some pink blush on it. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Little kitchen doodads. Well, that's another thing I really don't need, but it's just so much fun to have cute little tools for everything. But I better start just old schooling it. All my kitchen drawers are full. <laughs> Some of you know, some of you know. Raise your hand. Your kitchen drawers are full hey, too. Which one's legit? So uh, all this cool the Tupperware cream? and like or kitchen doodads. I love ice cream or ice cream? This is I plastic. Like it's cute. Yeah. Other than ice cream? Someone would like that, I know. I some mugs here. I'm not going to get any, but I do want to talk about this one. 
I possibly if there were two three ninety nine but look hello and some little dubs the insides polka dot and that handle is so comfortable to hold really oh uh, do I want that for myself I, I just I've been saying for the last three episodes I'm downsizing that's the kind of stuff that makes me have fun though okay I probably have some explaining to do so <laughs> I know I've got pots of pans in there when I'm like no more kitchen stuff no listen I'm still using an old set from an old boyfriend so what would be 25 years ago he bought me a set of Cafalon and they have that Teflon stuff on them and I don't want that I've been meaning and meaning to level up on those so I see these brand new and I looked up the brand tasty yeah they're sold at Walmart too but the brand says they have good reviews online and that says you know none of that nasty stuff they're ceramic coated none of that nasty stuff and look at that candy apple red ah oh, that's gonna look great in the kitchen with all the black and silver so I'm gonna get those and throw out my Cafalon finally which I don't need to be using um, I'll keep some of my stainless steel ones I bought now and then I would find something like KitchenAid and I'll keep a couple of those anyways through cruising through clothes not filming because of the hanger screeching not just me but people behind me you know shopping but I noticed fabric so I'm just doing my fabric scan like I do I pulled this out I'm like what is that so there we go there's where we really made our money today my Johnny was probably silk this is probably all silk nice little boho oh my goodness if I don't keep that that's probably mm, let's see it's 7 dollars here I don't know I'll look it up but I'm gonna guess I can probably sell that for about 150 knew it was probably 600 depending on what boutique you bought it at we're doing great and I did double check this while I was on my phone to look up those pots and pans to make sure I wanted them and yeah this is about 25 35 this little fiesta piece so I was right to do that you know I was doing some old school picking how you do it before uh -oh, Santana how you did it before the internet how us OGs did it <laughs> wow I'm in a mood today aren't I I there's a reason I was watching some YouTube last night since I couldn't sleep and I was watching a lot of the new people and I got an attitude about some some of their attitudes but I'm gonna try to resist the urge to go in and blast a lot of them I don't need to be like that but you guys let me whine a little bit here all right <laughs> but some of them are just so they act like they invented thrifting they act like they are the only ones that ever found a thrift store or thought about reselling and then the other half is just copying what they have learned from the older people which is fine that's fine but you give credit where credit is due that's a cool dress and then some of them are just some of these younger ones they are just bound and determined to like try to cause drama by making fun of older people so I don't know they might want to check their Google or YouTube analytics and check the age group of their followers or subscribers because if it's anything like the rest of us that have been doing this for a while Ooh, okay never mind let's just thrift and have fun ha 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 yes let's just thrift and have fun I think I better get this Santana shirt for my t-shirt sale I have one of those parking lot bootlegs I'll get that though that's all the rage okay while I'm on a roll yeah that's all the rage because the young crowd is definitely having fun with vintage t-shirts 
to the point where you can really make some good money on some of them if they're authentic. So now, once they've run out of the authentic, real vintage band t-shirts, concert t-shirts, just checking the fabrics. That's how I do it. Or length for my tall girls. Um, so now they've started in on the bootlegs. <laughs> but, I don't know. Pick my battles. Because now they have successfully, thanks to, you know, being influencers, a lot of them. Everywhere from TikTok to Instagram to whatnot. Um, the price of bootlegs has really gone up too. The parking lot bootlegs. ThriftCon has really made that a thing. So, I'm going to pick my battles. And I think I'll join the young people on this one. These used to sell Spencer Alexis. Yeah, that's not a really great one. It comes with a matching skirt. But if it's a real pretty one, those still sell. Because they kind of, I know they're like 80s, 90s, but they have that artsy look, right? Like deconstructed, patchwork, artsy look. So those still sell to a crowd. Notice some nice fabric here. Wide leg, which is also going to be trending again. But these are Spanx. So yes, you know, they made the epic undergarment control stuff. And now they make like outerwear pants not outerwear pants and stuff with the same control all inside so these are these cost about 80 to 100 resale is probably about 40 yep gonna get those and since I was on my phone looking those up yes the Johnny was dressed should bring 100 to 150 if I stay in line if I don't you know try to go under everyone else Happy, happy. Let's go check rounder tops, although I don't see a lot going on over there. Let's go check rounder tops and athleisure, which is my favorite. I've said before why I like to sell athleisure, because there are some good names for one. People recognize the names for keywords, and they it's stuff that stretches. People know what brand they like, they know how it's going to fit, they know what they want usually, and it just, it's forgiving, it stretches. So as long as, you know, a good pair of leggings like Victoria's Secret, Fabletics, eh, not the best, Little Lemon's still good, Gymshark, there are quite a few, and I'll be re-familiarizing myself with those. Okay, I'm going to hang this back up. I wanted to, okay, I wanted to talk about it though. But not to be tacky, but you got to check this area and inside, okay? You want to check the knees, the butt, you want to check the seams. Even when you are picking out fabric that looks like it hasn't been overwashed, still nice and fresh and crisp and not pilly, um, you still need to check those areas, okay? All right, let me hang those back up. Look, here's a great pair of Athleta. Look like ski pants. I say Athleta, um, I reckon that's how you say it, and that's their symbol. Yeah, that's a good brand too. Asics, Kyodan's one of my favorites. There's uh, Lorna Jane, I think that's Australia, or New Zealand, one of those countries. Stella, Stella McCarthy still does pretty well. So let's go look at jackets too. That's kind of what I prefer. But I do check the leggings. Oh, that's pretty. Tech gear. I think now you can get that at Walmart, but that's cute. Look at the back. See a little fippin' and touch? What size is that? Extra large? I mean, you can't get too much more for that, okay? $5.99. So that was just looking for myself. But that's cute with the feminine touch. Actually, I don't wear extra large, so just scanning fabric. So now we're going to go to my size, large and medium. Scanning fabric. Sometimes you can tell by the stitching. You'll get good at it after a while if you choose to do this. And I'll be talking about this stuff more and more as I up my clothing game again. Because some fabrics are just cheap. You just know, like that. Look at it. Cropped and barrel. Who is that? Coles. I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying we're looking for higher end brands. And skin, they started selling at Walmart too. And one more mention, also these, um, there's different brands and I don't know all of them yet. 
cycling shirts. Some of those are good brands and can sell for decent money if they have a commemorative, you know, something on them of an event, of a cycling event. If it was an epic event and it commemorates that. No lamps to show you. They put that out while we were gone over there. <laughs> and this drippy thing. I'm fascinated with this. I don't do candles, but I'm fascinated with this. You know what? I'm, I don't know. I'm just fascinated with it. I'm going to get it. It's very 80s, 90s pop culture-ish. I remember. I mean, I'm not saying that is. That could be brand new. But that vibe. This guy here is $5.99. And I kind of want to get him, but kind of like it and then I kind of don't you guys holler at me if I was wrong anyways I wanted to come back to yarn I'm like ah I gotta get start looking at yarn but I need to talk to Lorray I need to read that book and see how much I need this is cool isn't it $3.99 that looks like a good brand it's just acrylic though I think I could do better those are cool. Variegated or ombre, as you would say. Okay, I gotta talk to Lorraine and I gotta read that book to see how much I need to send her for that hat. Alright, you guys, I think that's it. I'm out of here. Vinyl paper. Wait a minute. Glitter, vinyl paper. Permanent glitter. Okay, so it doesn't get all over you. That'd be great, shelf liner. $1.99. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I probably should get it. There's just something kind of cool, but then kind of, I don't want to say creepy, but, you know, a little off, a little disturbing. <laughs> okay, we've had a good time. I found some great stuff. I hope you guys had fun, too. I will see you in someone's side chat or on the next video. Bye-bye for now.